Hey everybody, Jason here at GDT Basics and the video question line. Today's topic is significant figures and their effects on inspection. So the question submitted is, I'm looking for insights from experienced metrologists on how to ensure correct measurement resolution when inspecting mechanical parts. In my work, I've encountered a dilemma related to the formatting of dimensions on drawings and its impact on selecting the appropriate measurement tools. Specifically, the ASME Y14.5-2018 standard recommends omitting trailing zeros for dimensions in metric units. For example, 5 millimeters instead of 5.00 millimeters. However, I've always relied on those extra zeros to gauge the required resolution for my measurement equipment. How do you determine the resolution for your measurement equipment when trailing zeros are not present on a drawing? Now, this is a great question, and although I'm not an experienced metrologist, I did stay at a Holiday Inn last night, and my coworker is an experienced metrologist. So let's take a look at this example drawing here, and we can point out a couple of things. Now, for example, we have a measurement right here of 100 millimeters in diameter with no tolerance, right? So what we have to do is we have to go to the unspecified block in our title block that says, you know, maybe for an unspecified tolerance, of size 100 millimeters, we have a certain tolerance. And there's all sorts of ways to define unspecified tolerances in title blocks. And that can be anywhere from the size of the feature that being dimensioned to be how much tolerance you give it, or how many decimal places are available will tell you how much tolerance it gets. So for example, we might have 100.00 millimeters, and we have two decimal places. That generally sends us to the title block to find somewhere that says if two decimal places are present and it's an unspecified dimension, we can say that we have a tolerance of, let's say, uh, plus or minus 0.2 millimeters. Maybe that's our two decimal place tolerance. But as the question mentioned, ASME Y14.5-2018 and 2009 for that matter, all recommend omitting trailing zeros. In fact, that's an industry-wide standard to omit trailing zeros on metric drawings. And it does present a problem. If we as designers are relying on trailing zeros to define an unspecified tolerance, then we're kind of going against the standard. Now, I would say it's perfectly fine in this scenario to add trailing zeros in order to follow the unspecified tolerance block. But I would argue there's a lot better solution to that, and that is to just put the tolerance directly on the drawing. If your intent is to be 100 millimeters, and not 100.1 or 100.2, but 100 millimeters nominally, and you know the tolerance, and you don't want to add trailing zeros and go against the standard, then you should definitely add the tolerance to the size dimension. Now, in this scenario, we can see that we have a tolerance of 0.5. But the decimal places in either of these values, either the 100 or the 0.5, don't dictate how we should inspect our parts. What does dictate that, based on the ASME Y14.43, is 10% rule of this tolerance. In other words, 10% of our total 1 millimeter tolerance should go to our inspection equipment. So 10% of 1 millimeter is 0.1. That means we shouldn't allow anything that has an accuracy of less than 0.1 millimeters to inspect this feature. In the same way you wouldn't pick up a caliper that has a stated accuracy of 5 thousandths to inspect something that has a tolerance of 5 thousandths. The resolution on our caliper window also doesn't dictate how we should inspect our parts. Just because the resolution of the reading on our micrometer has five decimal places doesn't mean it has accuracy to five decimal places. We need to do a little bit more digging to make sure that the process and the tool we're using has a stated accuracy of 10% or more so again, our equipment should be 10 times more accurate than the tolerance value we're inspecting, not necessarily how many decimal places it is and the resolution of that tool. But I will empathize here that the ASME Y14.5 does tell us to uh, leave off those trailing zeros. And if you require to use those trailing zeros in order to specifically identify in your unspecified tolerance block which tolerance to use for your dimension, then by all means, I think it's okay to use trailing zeros to specify that. Or even better yet, put the tolerance right next to the dimension in the field of view and don't lean on those trailing zeros in any way, shape, or form. Hopefully this sheds some light on how significant figures and trailing zeros affect your inspection equipment. Our goal is to be your best source for gd and information online. It's important to us that everyone involved in engineering and manufacturing have the chance to learn.
and better understand gd and on your prints. We have many free resources to help you get started on your learning journey. Subscribe to our gd and community using the link in the description below or visit our website. Test your knowledge with our gd and and print reading quizzes. Download helpful charts and access articles written by our training experts.